Hi, Soul Fam. Today, I'm going to walk you through a tutorial of Bakasana, otherwise known as Crow Pose, an arm balance in yoga asana. Crow Pose is a foundational pose. What does that mean? It means that by mastering this arm balance, you are able to master all of the other arm balances, including handstands. And that is possible because we're using our arms as the foundation of this arm balance, hence the name. One of the most important things to remember about all the arm balances are your foundations, your wrists, particularly your wrist flexors that control the movements of your hands. You want to imagine as if you're gripping the ground, almost as if you're creating these claws with your hands when you're in these arm balances, as well as maintaining a good push from the shoulders. We'll get started in a toes pose. So come onto your toes and Make sure that your wrists are warmed up before attempting this tutorial. Place your hands down, shoulder distance apart. Rise up onto your toes and bring your knees just above your elbows. Imagine as if your arms are creating a shelf for your legs to go on. So as soon as you shift the weight forward, you're going to feel that the shift is being transferred from your feet to your hands. Keep your eyes looking forward. Your body is going to follow where your eyes look at. And then lift both legs up, point the feet or flex the feet, but kick the heels towards your butt. Round out through the upper back body. Separate the shoulder blades from one another. Keep pushing the ground away. And then come back into toes pose. Another great way to work on bakasana is, especially if you are new to arm balances, is to go on your back and create the pose, but in a different frame of reference. So I want you to round your upper back, place your elbows just above your knees, and point your feet to your butt. Eyes look up towards your eyelids. This is going to apply to all the other arm balances that you're training with as well. You are working the same muscles, the same muscle memory, in order to build up towards the arm balance itself. Another way to work on crow pose is to keep the legs outside of the arms, but maintaining that squeeze. Imagine as if you're squeezing everything in from the legs to the arms towards the middle of your mat. So you're going to widen up your stance. Look forward, squeeze your legs towards your arms, lift both feet up, look forward, round out through the spine. And then slowly lower down. Another great way to work your crow pose is to focus on lifting one leg up at a time. So from your toes pose, rise up onto your toes, lean your legs forward, lift the right leg up, squeeze it towards your butt, lower it down. Lift the left foot up, squeeze, lower it down. Right foot lifts, lower down. And then eventually, you'll be able to lift both feet up, keeping the feet active and engaged. One very important thing to note across all arm balances, inversions, handstands, is as soon as your feet leave the ground, as soon as you've, your feet are lifted away, they must be active and engaged. This is going to help create the lightness and buoyancy in the legs because the entire legs, including the glutes, are going to activate. It's going to feel much easier that way. Otherwise, the legs are going to feel like dead weight. And we want to prevent that from ever happening in our practice. And that is the general rule across the board. 
if you're working on your handstands, the feet are always active and engaged by pointing or flexing through your feet. And if you want to work a different variation of crow called kakasana, which is crow with straight arms instead of the bent arms. You're going to enter through crow, keeping your knees really low towards the elbows. Keep it low, squeeze the heels to the butt, straighten out the arms. Lean, lean, lean forward. And then lower down with control. As you can see, doing crow with straight arms is going to require a lot of wrist mobility. And that takes time. That takes time to develop through wrist cars, through different ways of practicing on increasing the range of motion on your wrists. Since we're leaning so much more forward, our shoulders are going to go a little bit beyond the wrist. It's really important to focus on developing that mobility and that range of motion in these joints. Another way to work on crow pose is through any kind of yoga pose that requires the bent arm strength. So that includes chaturangas or chaturanga push-ups. And different ways to just create the strength in, in the wrist flexors. But again, this arm balance is really about the technique and less about the strength, to be honest with you. Because the way that you enter the pose is a shift of weight between the lower body and the upper body. And how you do one thing is how you do everything. All of these poses are about technique. And it takes time to develop that technique. The body will always adapt to the stresses that you impose on it. This principle is known as the SAID principle, S-A-I-D, specific adaptation to impose demands. That is why when you start working on a pose, that it is normal not to get into it right away, but rather over time, over practice, over intentional practice, your body will develop the memory and you are creating new neural pathways in your brain in order to do so. So have fun with it. If you have any tips, please leave them. Or if you have any feedback on your practice, Please share them below. I would love to hear about your crow journey and your arm balance journey. Remember that you could always develop wrist mobility through uh, flossing the nerves. And I have a really great tutorial on nerve flossing, which I will link at the description box below. Have fun with it. Crow pose is a great arm balance because it is also a transitional arm balance, meaning that you could jump into crow from downward facing dog. You can go into different arm balances from crow pose. And it's just a really fun arm balance to incorporate throughout your practice. The possibilities are absolutely endless, so have fun with it. Please let me know how your journey goes. Sending you so much love, sending you so much bliss. And if you haven't done so already, hit the like and subscribe button to support the channel. Thank you. Wishing you peace.